Hello, my name is Patrick Schneider and I'm going to be telling you about using a potato to power a clock. To research the project, I studied facts on an internet search about potato batteries and watched several videos on YouTube about using fruits and vegetables for battery power. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Green Science Potato Clock Kit and talk about some interesting electricity facts. First, read all of the instructions carefully, especially the safety messages. For example, adult supervision and assistance are required. Also, do not connect any parts to an AC wall outlet, because this could cause electric shocks or a short circuit. So let's begin. First, we start out with strips of copper and zinc, which were supplied with the kit. Also supplied were connecting wire, two pots, pieces of transparent tape, and a digital clock with wires. Now, I will connect one of each of the copper and zinc plates with the connection wire by threading it through the end hole, twisting the wire and covering it with tape. Then, I will connect the other zinc and copper plates to the wires on the clock. The black wire is negative. It is connected to the zinc plate. The red wire is positive, and it goes to the copper plate. Insert the plates into the spuds. Make sure none of the plates touch each other. Your clock should now be operating. You can also use the pots with soft drinks instead of potatoes, although you need to make sure the plates do not touch each other. Here are some interesting facts. If you soak your potatoes overnight, the added water will help the potatoes to conduct electricity better. You can use other fruits and vegetables to produce electricity. The first battery ever made was a pile of metal discs by Alessandro Volta, an Italian scientist. This concludes my project. Thank you.